Hi, I'm Uche, beauty expert and YouTube creator. In this video, we're gonna talk about building your community, creating a strong content plan and defining your personal brand. Plus, some lessons I've learned on my creator journey. Community for me is all about connecting, so it's so important to have a community on YouTube because it's the premise for the entire app. How will you connect with other people without a community? That's how people get to know you and you get to know your audience as well. So priority number one, building a community. Who are you without your community? Community means to me having people that understand me and like get what I'm about without me having to say, whether that's through watching my content or through following tutorials or whatever I put up or having someone to lean on or people leaning on me. That's what community is all about. My favorite way to interact with my community on YouTube is definitely the premiere feature on videos. When you're putting up a tutorial that people have really been looking forward to, it's so nice to watch it the first time round with everyone else. You get the comment section and everyone's giving their comments and you're in there talking to them as well. Super, super easy to use. And also the great thing about the premiere feature is that people know when the videos come in. Typically, I'll just say I'm posting on a Sunday that could be any time, but when the promo feature's there, people know the time specifically to their time zone, because obviously YouTube is global, so people can set their time. It's really exciting, it's actually super cool. Okay, for me, the easiest and most efficient way to plan content, particularly for beauty, beauty is very easy because there's so many markers in the year that you can plan content around. So the easiest way to do it is like a year view. So obviously you've got Valentine's Day, you've got Halloween, you've got Christmas, New Year's. So those are key moments you can build content around. And then month by month, you can review the dead space that you have or the space that you have between the year content and kind of do weekly stuff. So if people have been asking you for vlogs or they've been asking you for tutorials, you know that you have maybe two slots in the month outside of your yearly plan that you can put in a tutorial that someone's been asking for or a how-to or a vlog or if you know you've got some really super exciting trips coming up or you've just got big moments in your life that you also want to document that's a great time to put them in as well and you could also do content around big moments so if you've got a big birthday or a big trip you can do a get ready with me you can do a come shopping to find the perfect dress the perfect prom dress the perfect prom makeup there's so you see why i'm in a limitless there's so much you can do around one single big moment because i've been doing this for so long sometimes it's difficult to know what content you do most of my content is stuff i want to do but sometimes it is so helpful to lean on your community's comments so there's some of my best work is ideas from my followers so they'll say hey you should vlog this or hey you should do a tutorial on this or i've got a prom coming up can you do a look for red dresses or a valentine's day look if i'm being really honest most of my best work stems off of the comments I get from my community. I don't always have the brain capacity to come up with all of these ideas. So leaning on comments is a really good way to add more flavor to your content. It's a personal brand. I know that's a big one, but a lot of the fun of creating content in the beginning comes from just exploring. So my best advice would always be to explore your passions first. I'm now known for like my base, but for a long time I was known for hooded eye shadow looks. So people would come to my channel because they wanted to find ways to do eyeshadow and hooded eyes. I fell into that because I would copy other creators or I would be learning from them, but their eye shape was very different. So my personal brand has evolved over time. And I think it's good for creators to let their personal brands evolved if you think too hard about your personal brand right off the bat you might box yourself off too early so that's why i'm saying explore the different passions that you have first really get comfortable with creating content and creating good content and then you can really dig deep and find what you're the best at that's first of all and then what your community really connect with and when you follow that you will find your personal brand naturally so in terms of Visually, I have, I think most of us have the name or logo somewhere on the screen. So on the screen, you can see this. I just have like a Uche Notori in the same font every time. Some people might have a little logo. Just be careful about the natural pop-ups that come up on your YouTube. If you do the subscribe tab, it'll come up on the bottom. And when you have your end screen at the end, depending on where you put the widgets. So just be aware of that when you do your logo, that it's the same place every single time and it's not obstructed by anything else. Another thing I have is like the little pop-up that says subscribe intermittently in the video. That usually is typically in the middle here. Again, doesn't interrupt any other visuals that's going on. 
people have so much like people have a whole intro that signifies them i keep it quite simple but i think my content is very simple i think people know that when you come on you have the intro transition get into the meat of it transition outro very very basic a lot of people are a lot more playful than i am so i think you can be as playful as you want to be or you can be as simple as you want to be whatever feels most comfortable to your brand and to you i think go with that my top piece of advice for creators looking to establish their brand is high quality content that's well edited so always invest in yourself i always say this to people always invest in yourself the beautiful thing about youtube is that you get ad, ad revenue so if you're not necessarily making you know paid partnership money but you're getting ad revenue that's a really good way to just invest that back into your channel whether that's getting you know phones these days they film in 4k so even if you're just starting from your phone that is still a start and there is endless tutorials on youtube that teach you how to edit you can do the basics like i said i have a relatively large channel and my editing is quite basic but the quality is very good so you can figure out where you want to sit whether you want quality that's okay but people know that your edits are insane there's some people like that they do really well whether you want super super good quality and you have very simple editing so whether you want to invest in equipment first teach yourself how to edit via youtube or whether you want to go the mile and like get the the best editing software first and then work back and improve your equipment. There's no right or wrong way. Again, just it depends on what kind of content you're doing. A lot of my stuff is sit down, so I don't need anything too elaborate because all the magic is here. I'm giving it to you. But if you're out and about and you're shooting, you know, this and that, make sure you have good equipment that can really come along with you and it feels like your audience is there with you. Women on YouTube, it really is endless. I mean, I obviously come on here and I do makeup tutorials. A lot of people that have followed me know that I'm self-taught, so I learned watching other women on YouTube. It really is just, it's just such a full circle, such a community moment. So my biggest advice to anyone that wants to get into beauty content is number one, know what you're bringing. So if you're not necessarily the best at makeup, but you really want to get into it, sit down and learn, 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 learn until you get to a point where, so for me, it was the eyeshadow. I was like, damn, like I'm watching all these people do eyeshadow, but they don't, they don't have the same eyes as me. Maybe there's other people out there that feel like they're watching people that don't have the same eyes as them. Let me teach them a thing or two. Or whether you are more like a SFX, like your graphic, like you're super elaborate with it and you don't really see other people doing that. Even if you do see other people doing it, they're not you. So I think a lot of people feel like, oh, I can't do it because so many other people are doing it. But there are so many women on YouTube and I can't tell you recreators that are the same. That's why it's so beautiful.